Look right here. Right right here. The reason why I didn't nobody tell you about some things is because they knew the reaction they were going to get when you told, when they told you, and they knew you weren't going to be receptive of what they said. So instead of even being bothered with it, they just let you went on until God let you, amen, got to the place where you discovered it for yourself, amen. And you may have been walking around like that for the last 20 years, and everybody around knew it, but then, isn't it a sad thing when everybody knows something about you, but when they, nobody feel comfortable enough talking to you about it because they already know your response before they even say it. Church of the nation. That's what they do. Now, I'm looking for another. 
I just feel like the Lord may be leading me somewhere else. No, no. So you're going to go somewhere else, but, but, but at first year they don't tell you about yourself because they want to get you in. So they ain't going to say that. And you're going to shout about how good it is. Oh, it's such a blessing over here. That, yeah, they're a blessing over there because they don't know you yet. After about a year or two, if they don't discover you and they finally tell you about yourself, you're going to feel like the Lord leading you. Okay, my assignment is up here. I got Amazing. Anytime time folk have an issue when a bishop tell the truth, they want to look for another church. All of a sudden now it's time to go to church hall. Amen. Amen. Maybe that's where they got the uh, Easter Bunny from. The church hall. The ones who hop in every night church on Easter. They know where it came from. Peter Rabbit. Got some Peter Rabbits in our church uh, hopping everywhere. Uh, 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 got that rabbit in here. Got a rabbit in here. Come on, Jesus. Jesus. Some of y'all don't like this. I ought to sit back there. Yes. Yeah. 
So please stop accusing everybody of judging you. Come on. So please stop, amen, getting mad. Come on. Every time somebody talk to you and point out something that you can do better, you ought to be thinking them. The place I'm at right now, because over my life, the course of my life, many people told me about myself. I ain't said it felt good. I, 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 didn't, I didn't say that then. When I was a young boy, my daddy used to get on me. It didn't feel good. But he was right. I didn't know you. I look. I didn't want to hear it, but he was right. You know, my dad used to say, you're lazy. You can do that. Kick that wood up. You can do it. It's a bit, I'm so small. I'm just too feeble. And my dad said, I don't want to hear that. You get that wood and get it in there because you can. And I'm not going to help you. I looked over my mom. You ain't gonna save me. You ain't gonna save. Me. You know what she did? Went in the house and went in the bedroom. Closed the door. Cause she knew it, he helped that young boy become a man. Amen. And he didn't say it nicely either. He didn't. He didn't say it with, with sugar on it. He just said. You're lazy. You don't want to do anything. Get up out of the bed. Turn the covers loose. Get, 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 get up. All you want to do is lay around. Now, what if somebody told you that? What if somebody tell you, all you want to do is lay around, get yourself up out of bed, and get out here and let's get some stuff done? You don't know how dirty. You don't know how I feel. You don't know how tired I am. You know? You're going to say you're hurting? I already know what you're going to say. You're going to say I'm hurting? Who ain't hurting? I want to know who in here ain't got no pain still with. I guarantee almost everybody in the church got some pain somewhere right now. 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 Right And my daddy never said to me around this time. 
time of the year? Yeah, okay. Well, how about you got asthma acting up? So don't worry. You know what he said? You better go get that love or get that grass cut today. That's right. Don't put no man on That's right. And and every time they used to say you're lazy, folks talking about you can't talk to children like that because you're going you're gonna to make them children, amen, feel like they ain't nothing. You know what? That's the, that's, that's the language of weakness. Uh-huh. It's what caused our country to be weak. It's what caused our families to be weak. I cannot tolerate. I cannot tolerate folk running around talking about you, anything, anything you say to a child that ain't pretty and fixed up, that it's going to destroy them. Well, what happened to all of us? I said, my, my mother-in-law used to tell my wife, hey man, you're bad to teeth water. They, uh, they dry the tears. Nobody want to hear none of that. Stop all that crying. Now you say something and everybody say you can destroy the children. No, you destroy the children because you won't allow them to receive discipline and you don't want to tell them the truth about anything. If they don't hear it when they teach it, they sure ain't going to want to hear it when they tell it. So now you're 30, 35 years old and now you can't take nobody telling you nothing because they stopped telling you when you was a child. If I could, I'll whip some of your mama and daddies. Spank them real good. Why? For not doing their job as a parent. Amen. Then you go on the job and don't want nobody to tell you. Now you go on the job and as soon as your boss hold you accountable or attempt to. Now you got you, they beat folk up in here. They, what? What they do? They, they ask you to give them a, a good day's work for a good day's wages? You want to just keep going to the job doing nothing and getting paid the same amount. Now what if they cut your paycheck? Look at me. What if they cut your pay by the hours you actually work? And the mouth, and listen, hey man, and I'm talking about what you actually get done. Well, I ain't come on look busy. I ain't come on when you're looking busy, when you're trying to find a way to look like you're doing something, but you know you ain't doing nothing. But with, if they cut your pay, you're going to have a problem. You lazy joker. You're lazy. That's what's wrong with you, you're lazy. You'll be in a better position if you stop being so lazy. If you, if you stop quitting on everything. If you stop quitting every time somebody challenges you or holds you accountable, you'll be something. Stop being such a quitter. That's when I played little league ball and I didn't want to play no more. You know what my dad said? Well, you ain't about to play after this year. But you signed up. Now you signed up for it. You going every week. Well, if they don't want to do it, I ain't gonna make them do it. You don't make them weekly. You don't make them weekly. Make them quit. And they gonna be quitting the rest of their life. Quitters grow up to be quitters. That's true. That's true. Amen. Right. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, yep. yep. Yeah. I know somebody gonna say, I still ain't preached yet. That's all right. I know somebody. I know there's somebody mad right now at me. I know somebody mad at me right now. Cause somebody, somebody gonna bring the worst case scenario they can. But when, when, you, when they abuse it to you, I didn't talk about nobody being abused. Right. Holding you accountable ain't abuse. Right. Giving you some discipline ain't abuse. Right. Every time somebody says something to you 
Don't need somebody. Let me, let me tell you something. And when your pastor talk like this, there ain't no church hurt. So don't go leave the church talking the church hurt you. Church ain't hurt you. I told you the truth. If your feelings aren't hurt because I told you the truth, that ain't the church. I want the truth. Stop being so lazy. Stop quitting so much. Stop making excuses. Amen. Get up out of bed. Amen. Get yourself together. Get up in the morning and put your clothes on. Get yourself together. Get out and do something. I'm just, I'm just so Man, I used to work. When I was working, I used to work, amen, 14 hours. And in between that, get leave there, come up here and preach. Come up here and teach. Go back. Go home, eat a meal. Come on, man. Get out of church clothes. Put on a uniform. Go back to work. Work some more hours. Come back home. Get three hours of sleep. Put clothes back on. Get back up and go back to work. Come down to the church, take care of church business. And go. Like, like, listen, and you know what? I never complain. I ain't gonna, I don't know how I'm going to do it. No, no. You know why? Because my mama and daddy had instilled in me a good work ethic. So, 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 that wasn't nothing to me. Come on, Zion, up in here. So, when folks start talking to me about how tired they are, man, get out of here. Get out of here. When once I see you don't work like I had to work, and the time I had to work, and how I had to work, and still do all the things what you had to do, then, then maybe me and you can talk. You ain't even on the level yet, man. Sit down. Man, you ain't even through a backbone yet. You ain't even talking about your back hurt. Back when you got a bristle. You ain't got a backbone yet. But you don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me when you don't, because if you had more backbone, you can take what I'm saying. I know I'm lying, and I know everybody lying ain't gonna lie it. Oh, and that's right. good, because I don't know why so much foolishness online, no, amen, from no. folks just talking crazy no, and no. saying stuff that don't make no, no I saw no. somebody say the other day that any man who, amen, marries a woman who got children, he a simp. Yeah. He a weakling. Uh -huh. And folks, thousands and thousands of viewers uh -huh. listening to that man. Women, even women sitting down talking. That's right. Yeah, it, it, so when somebody get on there and tell you, stop listening to that foolishness. Huh? I'm the product of a man of a, a stepfather. Come on, come on, come on. My biological father raised me. Monday morning, 
I really want to live then. But Monday morning is my day to cut my grass. Hmm? The longer I lay in that bed thinking about it, the longer my day is. But the moment when I just get up out of bed, get my clothes, my wife laying over there asleep. I don't look at her and say, I can't believe she's asleep. And I got to go out here and cut this grass and she's asleep. Be a man. Suck it up. Stop being a wimp. You want her to be equal to you until she, she got to be equal to you. Go ahead and keep on telling her, well, I do this and you ought to do Well, okay, keep on. Keep on. You're going to realize that you don't want what you think you want. You better thank God she laying over there sleeping. Same thing. When he come home from work, if you don't have the job, and he, he been at work all day, don't you be looking at him and watch no dishes. You lazy thing. You lazy thing, you. You mean he got to go to work all day, come home, and still clean up? Because your back hurt? You better take some towel off. You get on in there and suck it up. In fact, when he get home, let it be clean. Don't go read your Bible. The Bible said that the aged women need to teach the young women this. Teach them to be makers at home. That's what the Bible, the Bible says that. Teach the younger women to be makers at home. In other words, teach them how to keep them home. So when he come home, he ought to have some food. You say, but what if he, if, if, if she work and he at home, then I guess he better cook some food. But he shouldn't sit at home all day and not do anything. Because, sister, step two, if he at home and you come home and he been at home all day and ain't nothing got done, now you tell me, sister, you ain't gonna be mad. You tell me for one minute. Now y'all talk to me for real, sister. He done sat at home all day long and you done been at work all day. And he, you, he, you come home, and the laundry ain't done, the dishes stacked up, and no smell of good food in that on the stove. Y'all talk to me, somebody up there, stuff everywhere. Now, sisters, y'all tell me the truth. You gonna be upset with that joker, and if you do it too often, you gonna start not respecting him. You gonna, you gonna start losing respect for him. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me up in here because you gonna see him as a worthless, weak. Lazy joke. Now, if you know that, then if he working and you at home, then put the shoe on your foot. Clean your house. What? Come on, eat, cook some food. I ain't talking about no ramen noodles. Money in the 
bank, she makes you stay in the bank. But when I drive up to the gas station, she does not jump back. I pump black gas. I'm the man. Ain't, ain't no man going to sit in the car unless he a paraplegic and can't get out. Talk to me somebody. Ain't no man who, uh, who's a man going to sit in that car lounging while his woman get out and pump gas. Now, honey, if he want to pump gas for you and make you get out and pump the gas, they don't tell you right now, you better not have a flat tire. He's going to be sitting in the car while you out there with a jack. Y'all you know, don't talk to me up in here. Talking about, you ain't got that, that tire fix yet? When it's time to go get something, a car or something like that, I go down to the car lot, amen, make sure it's something she wants, and I get it what she wants. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, baby, drive the car. I ain't gonna never talk about, these hey, bills, you want that car? It cost this money and these bills. Baby, baby, drive the car. It's yours. put my name on the thing is so that I can get the tax break. <laughs> I, mean, I put my name on it so that I can go get those veteran tags and pay a dollar for the license plate every year. Y'all ain't talking to me a bit here. Because economically feasible. but she's going to be thinking about these babies. Yeah. And so I could go to work knowing that the babies was in a secure place. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, and they had stability and they had somebody who was going to watch them. Y'all yeah. don't talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So she took care of all those things. And when she did go to work, because I'm not an ogre, I can't tell her not to work. She's a grown woman. Do what she want to do. I don't control my wife. My wife is a grown woman. Say she want to go to work, go to work. But when she went to work, I told her, your money ain't for these bills. That's my job. Amen. My money is to pay these bills. You go in, do the, the, the money I was going to have to pay for your hair and your nails and all that other stuff you get done, that money you make, you just put it over there and go take care of the things you want to take care of. Don't worry about it. Amen. I'm still saving money. Because if she didn't have the job, I'd be paying for that. That's because right. it's what she won't. Right. And it's what I want to keep her looking at. If I talk to her, I'm going to tell her, 
Don't you be stressed. I got it. That's the answer. Don't you stress yourself. I'll figure it out. I got it. Now, folk call folk like me a sinner. A weakling. You know what? I don't care. But you know what I've done? I got a wife of 37 years. I got one talking to me. You done been through 15 women in 37 years and can't keep the one you got. And you think I'm a sinner. Yeah, no, I, I got somebody. Now, which one of us we? The one that can keep somebody? Or the one who can't? Look at y'all. I wish I'd stopped a long time ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's roads. There are roads. There are some roads that men should traditionally play and roles that women should traditionally play. Uh -huh. And when that get mixed up, we get this confusion we got now. Well, women try to be men, and men try to be women. The roles have been blue. So you can say whatever you want to say. At the end of the day, this ain't different nowadays, bitch. You just don't know. It may take two incomes. Get rid of some stuff. You live above your means. If it takes more than that one income, then you know you living above your means because he already provide for you. And just in case you got a man who won't provide for you and you keep laying up with him and he ain't disabled and he ain't a paraplegic, y'all don't talk to me. And he 30 some, 40 some years old, still talking about trying to find myself. I don't know. I'm still trying to make it in this. Make it. You, baby, you better go make some bed, eggs at Waffle House. You better do something. But I ain't got no time for you to find yourself when you're 35 years old.
and contrary to popular belief system, Lemon, you can't make an entrance hole out of an exit hole. Come on. A man was never born with an entrance. God made him to be a giver. And for her to be a receiver. When they both play their roles right, they connect and the two become one. Two men ain't going to ever be able to connect and be one. Because they got to be a man, hallelujah to God, a man uh, coming from the back. But if a man comes from the front and a woman comes from the front because of how God designed them like a piece of a puzzle, they are able to connect and make one. Two women can't ever make one. And two men can't ever make one. So if a man wants to be a receiver, you got to take care of me, then you talking about yourself, brother? You might be telling us a little something about you. You, 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 you letting us in on something, aren't you? So you in the receiving. So you in the receiving now, huh? Because in order for a woman to become a giver, she's got to purchase something. Because she's not born anatomically with a man what it takes to give. So she has to use artificial means. So for a woman to try to be a giver like a man, it's got to be an artificial relationship. So for everybody in that type of relationship, no, it ain't real. It's artificial. Yeah, my sister like that, well, tell her what I said. But you don't know my, my brother. Tell your brother what I say. Then tell him to open a science book. <laughs> then you got to open the Bible on that one. Then listen, amen. Open a science book. Look at basic anatomy. And basic anatomy will bear out what I just said.
come bringing me no cola trying to tell me of the coat. Now, if you pull it out and you look at it and you say, well, that's, that's, that's the same as a coat, right? And you pull that coat out. Don't get mad at me when I tell you that ain't no coat. But see, there you go. It, there's different types of coats. Yeah, that, that, that cherry flavor, that diet coat. If y'all ever talk to me, that regular coat, but they all coat. Amen. Come on, sign up in here. Yeah, there's different type of women, you know. There's some big women, there's some amen, small women, there's some short women, there's some tall women, there's some dark skinned women, there's some light skinned women. Y'all ain't talking to me. But the key thing they got going, they women, they man. They're born anatomically women. Now if he started life as a cola, he's still a cola. He ain't no cola. Okay, if it started life as a man, he's still a man. He ain't no woman. I 
get mad. Uh huh. And he said it ain't good for a man to be alone. He didn't create a little man. So we, <laughs> so we 
we have to be very careful of how we attribute humanistic qualities uh -huh. or biological qualities to that which is not of that anatomy. If a girl is a girl, she's a girl. Some girls, uh, some girls have a little more tomboyishness in them. They like to run, jump, play in trees. That's just how some girls are. But she's still a girl. When I was a little boy, and you saw little girls playing out there with little boys and stuff like that, we never looked at her and said, oh, she's just like one of the boys. We always, that's a girl right there. That's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, we was all thinking, mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. Mama, I know I did. You don't get up my mama, I'm going to get up my mama. Which, which one of them get that mama? I know y'all don't like this one. Right? <laughs> We never looked at her and said, because she playing ball with us. She ain't no girl no more. No. <laughs> Boy, don't run like that. Y'all get it. Y'all get it. Yes, sir. Some girls just a little more tall, boy, but they still girl. Come on, how do they go? Every little boy is not a sport guy. Not every little boy plays baseball, football, or, or basketball. Man, that, that ain't who that, but, that, but, but at the end of the day, you ain't got to play no sport, but you're a boy. Yeah. Okay. And we, we, you're a boy now. That's right. So when we go down to the store and we go to the aisle, the, 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 what you're going to get is some tumblers. You're going to get some G.I. Joe with a tumble grip. You, you, you finna, you, you're going to get a box. You're going to get a kick ball. You're going to... Listen up here, amen. When my son was born, amen, I, the first thing I bought him was about three outfits that had a basketball, a football, a baseball on them. Now you ain't got to play them, but I want you to amen know it's okay, baby. It's, it's okay. You're a boy. You ain't no real girl. Uh -huh. yeah. 
and two women ain't gonna ever be able to reproduce because they, so they can't reproduce up. So the devil's happy now because he's put to a relationship together that's incapable of reproducing God in the earth. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me up in here. So now the devil is happy, praise be to God. Amen. Because what he has stopped now is amen, the amen, a uh, reproduction of God in the earth. Amen. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't care what nobody tell you, amen. Hallelujah. The quickest way to stop, amen, a a a a, 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 a group, an uh, ethnic group, a amen, hallelujah, amen, a race of people, a nation of people. Is to put two males together, two women together, and all of a sudden you stop the reproducing of them, and all of a sudden they kill off themselves. Why would we as a community accept that which is going to destroy our community? Talk to me. How would we accept? That which is going to destroy our community. Right. How are we going to produce more strong men and women like you? How are we going to do it? If you as a woman date another woman. How are we going to do it if you as a man date another man? How are we going to reproduce in the earth? You can't. Huh? The best birth control I use is to me. <laughs> Two women. I can guarantee you there ain't a chance in hell of two women reproducing or two men reproducing. I don't care. They lay in that bed. They will never reproduce. It's safer than any pill you can buy. I don't care what the devil prescribes you. I'm telling you right now, if, to, if, if you want to make sure you don't ever get pregnant women, two women together, they ain't going to get pregnant. The church don't want to talk about this stuff. Right? So we don't say nothing about this. We let men become weaker and weaker and weaker. And I can't stand a weak man. Amen. Praise God. Praise I, God. Amen. If you ain't saved, repent of your sin. Be baptized in the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin and be filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let me just say that again. If you, if you fall into one of these categories, I love you. I love you enough to tell you the truth. Now, if you're mad, amen. then amen. I hope you get mad enough to change. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Give God a hand cup of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. To my live stream audience, God bless you and goodbye. Amen. 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 They don't give me. I love my live stream audience. God bless you. Somebody will be mad.